So today we're going to run through my three foundations and five fundamentals using an all-in-one bitless bridle. This is a one piece of rope, double overhand knot, double overhand knot with side pole loops. These side pole loops can be adjusted. This entire halter bridle can be adjusted. You can make it tighter. I like it really loose. My horse is comfortable with it loose, but you can have them tighter. You can have the knots closer to the lips. You can have them further up your horse's face. Whatever works for you, you can adjust these knots. But I've, as you can see, kind of blinged mine out. I like a little bit of fancy and I like to dress up Paco. So with Paco's all-in-one, there is also a 12-foot lead rope that is included on your all-in-one and a leather popper for a little bit of uh, extra pressure when you need it. Now, first of all, the three foundations that I teach all horses, these are absolutes, absolute musts, is backing up, pressure and release with bonding, and leading. So first of all, I'm going to do a little pressure and release with bonding. And this is going to be a setup for a one rein stop, which is how you stop a horse when you're riding bitless. A one rein stop is nose to the girth, hind feet disengaging, that means inside foot crossing outside foot, where the horse cannot buck, bolt, or rear when their hind feet are crossing. With the nose to the girth, I teach that as the safe and loving place we go when we're in trouble. So I'm gonna take Paco's nose, put my hand over the knot, kind of hold on to the knot, and I'm going to stroke his girth area, and I'm asking for his nose right in here, and I want him to be soft. As soon as he becomes soft, he dips that nose to the girth, then I'll release. So I add a little pressure with the knot until he gives. And I'm waiting, and he's just about soft. I'm asking. Nose to girth. Very nice. Thank you, Paco. Thank you. So you'll see, I just fold my lead rope, put it over the horse's back. When you're first teaching a horse, you can take your lead rope and put it over your shoulder. That way you have a grip of that lead rope if the horse tries to walk off. So what you do on one side, you do on the other. I'm going to stroke his girth, get down here, love him up, ask for that nose to girth. As soon as he's soft, nice, beautiful, good boy, good boy. I'm going to try the other side. What I do on one side, I do on the other. So I ask, nose to girth, ask as soon as he's soft, I release. Asking, asking, Paco, I need your nose right here. Oh, what a sweet boy, yes you are. Give me your nose. Oh, very good, very good. Your release is everything. A horse learns from the release of pressure, not the pressure itself. And you can learn all of this with my Training the Whole Horse videos, which are free to watch. No sign up, no login, no membership, absolutely free. People say, oh, nothing's for free. My video series is for free viewing, both on my website and YouTube channel under Missy Wren, Horse Whisperer Missy Wren. You'll find it. So the next thing, the foundation, is I want a horse to be able to back up with just a jiggle of a lead rope. And you notice he just backs right up, good boy. And I stop jiggling and I look down. I look down because that is a drop of my pressure. Remember, horses learn from the release of pressure, not the pressure itself. So I drop my eyes, my countenance. If I come out him like this, boy, he's going to back up. Good boy, good boy. And I release my pressure and I look down. Now I'm going to ask for his head down. Oh, very nice. As soon as he gives, I release. Very important to release your pressure once the horse is given. If you have a horse whose head is high, he's nervous, he's upset, come in here and ask for that head down. A head down is a relaxed horse. 
And notice, I'm bent over. You'll see that in my videos, that I'm bent over. The next thing is I'm going to lead him around the arena, and I want him to stay a half horse length behind me. So I'm going to walk, and as he comes, I'm going to check, make sure he's a half horse length. If he starts to creep up, I'm going to jiggle that lead rope. Good boy, because he understands jiggling the lead rope is back up. If I got a horse that's rushing me, I'll put my hand up, tell him to get back. When you're controlling your horse's feet, such as a backup, that invokes your horse's natural instinct to recognize you as the herd leader. 